How did it feel to be back on the set of Guardians of the Galaxy? Really good. Can you elaborate at all? <laughs> How good did it feel? I'm so good at this. Uh, <laughs> it felt great, actually, and I was really happy to be back. I mean, it, it's it's always one of those things where it's like it's almost like uh, uh, coming going back home because it, it's like you we. You, you know the role is there. You, you, the character's still there. You're still it's you, you know it's pulling it up like you know you haven't forgotten anything yet. It's just like right back into it. So that's how, yeah, yeah, it's, it's awesome, awesome. <laughs> what do you like best about working with the cast? You know when the days ended and you don't get to see them for twenty four, uh, you know about ten twelve hours. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> you know. You know, you're there with them all day long, and you're doing stuff, and you're, and you're, um, you know, it's like time to go, go away. It's kind of, the best part of doing movies is like when the day is over, and you get to go take a bath. You know, put some oil in your bath, chill out, turn some music on, and, and like, it, hopefully your bathtub is not too big. That you slide down and drown, and the and not too little that it, it squishes you a little bit, you know, just enough so that you 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 prop your feet up in there and you can just like hang out. That's my that's the best thing about doing movies. <laughs> so taking a bath is the best part about working best with this cast. Part. That's totally the best part. <laughs> what is the state of Yondu and Peter's relationship at the beginning of the film? You know, we're we're okay. You know we're okay because you know we got the we got the end we had the we had the uh, the little orb right with the with the trick inside, and I love those things. You know the little trolls is like some of my favorite little deals. I I put them on my console all the time, and he knew that. You know when he chose to put it in there, right? And he knew. I, you know what? I knew it wasn't gonna be a bomb. So. No, I was okay with that, and and you know now we're 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 hanging, we're we're good pals, and and you know and we're treating each other more like equals, not kid father image, you know, kind of thing. Now now we're we're on a one to one level, and I think that's a that's a healthier relationship. Tell us a little bit about Yondu and his trouble with the other ravagers. Yeah, run. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a pirate. I'm a space pirate, and I'm the bad guy. I'm the I'm the, the I'm the baddest of the bad. I like I'm like the boss, man. If I whistle at you, you're gone. Okay, so nobody wants to mess with me, yet they want to mess with me because they're bad guys, and they're following me only because I'm the baddest. Only because I make the choices and the decisions. And they end up good, and they end up putting money in their pockets, and they have a good time. And so when that starts, you know, Yandu starts having, uh, uh, you know, other thoughts. I mean, other things are going on in his, in his existence, in his life right now. That's sort of causing him to have um, uh, these, these. Um, recalls that affect him in his decisions, I think. And so they see that as weakness. Yandu's beginning to be a little more retrospective, thinking about things that he's done in his life. And, you know, as you, anyone, even, even, even we humans, as we get older, we start doing that. So it's a natural occurrence for this to happen. But not for a ravager, and not for a uh, the head ravager. Uh, you know, so people, they, the other guys, sort of see that as a, a weakness. So hence, they they see an opening, right? So, yeah, that's that's what's going on. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. What do you think audiences will relate to in this movie? They they'll relate to me. They'll, they'll really, they'll, you know, what happens in this movie is like, it's, trust me, it's all about relationships. It's all 
it's not all about it, but it's it, a lot of it has to do with family. A lot of it has to do with with people who once were adversaries have come together and are working together uh, for uh, for a common cause, and so that's what that's really what's going on, and it's all and and the in the, the they become this oddball family made up of just some crazy, crazy beings, you know, from other planets. I, I don't think any of us are from the same planetary system. Or, or we're, in, we're, in, we're not, we're all different. So, yeah, that's what it's about. You can be all different and still be a family. What was the best part about working with Sylvester Stallone? This time or last time? <laughs> this time. What's well, the best part about work, working with Sly is that, you know, you're working with Sly again. I did a, I did a gig with him uh, 20 years ago, maybe. And he came on set, and it was like I, I just, well, wow. It was like yesterday, you know. We were friends back then. We had a great time, and we, you know, had a great time this time around as well, you know. It was, it was pretty cool. What do you think of the practical sets, and how did they perf uh, inform your performance as an actor? Well, the practical ones and the CGI ones um, were used in unison. We we used both of them at the same time. We almost never in this movie had just a practical set. All of the all of the stuff that's going on in this movie was uh, had some sort of uh, other influence, like green screen or you know, all that kind of stuff. So it it was it was pretty darn cool, you know. So, but there was I don't know if there was. Yeah, I mean, even in the the jail cell, there is still Rocket, you know. And I keep forgetting Rocket is. A, I I think of Rocket and 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 Baby Groot as real characters, you know. And when I and when I have to think about it and think back and realize that no, they're CGI, they're not even really there, and it's all you know, it's it's crazy. I don't even think about that when I'm doing it. You know, I I have no, I see them as they're really there. I mean, even when even when Baby Groot has a stick coming out of his back and a puppeteer at the end going like this, I still I kind of get rid of that guy in my mind, in my imagination, in my mind, and I, I concentrate on little baby group, and it, it becomes real. It's real for me. Why was James Gunn the perfect director for this? I think he's the perfect director for this because he has the, the perfect taste in actors and actresses, you know? He's so good at choosing the right, not only me, you know, but mostly me. But no, uh, all kidding aside, he has an eye for who is going to bring out what he needs to have brought out in this character. So he handpicked, he hand chose everyone in this cast, and uh, that that's his genius. Along with being a a great director and a great writer, and also he dresses well. And I, I, you know what? I, I like all his wardrobe except for his shoes. I, I, you know, I don't think he has really that great taste in shoes. I'm a shoe guy myself, so I, this is like the fourth time I said this. Yeah, I should start naming the brands, right? That's what I should. Yeah, I'm gonna start naming them later. Later, later, I'll, I'll go through a catalog and, and bring up some good brands. <laughs> what can audiences expect from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two? More, 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 but in a good way, you know. Like you, from when we were small little toddlers, all we think about is more, 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 again, 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 and that hasn't changed much. We're grown ups now. We make our own living. We drive cars. We have responsibilities. Yet, deep down, that child in us wants more. 
if it's something really good, it feels good to do, it feels good to taste and to go down, down your throat, and it, it, it's, you know, you want more. And that's what happened in Guardians 1, and that's what's happening in Guardians 2. And you get more of the same, and then more of something that's exquisitely different and and goes beyond what Guardians 1 did. So, yeah, that's, that's what they can expect. And I don't know if they think about that much or not. I mean, audiences, I know I don't, but all of a sudden I realized, why do I want to see this movie three, four, five times? It's, it's just something that it touches a little nerve inside you, that it touches that child, that makes you suspend what the hell's going on in real life. Whoever, I mean, you hang out too long in real life, and it just drags you down sometimes, you know? So, ah, forget it. Go to the movies. Let them lower the lights. People turn off your cell phones. And just be in this world that is foreign, so foreign to you. And, and, and enjoy. And that's what I love. I think, I consider myself pretty average Joe. And I think that's what most of my fans and, and everyone's, every other actor's fans, their fan bases are, you know, are who they are and they, that's what they want to see. And that's what they, I think that's what we all want to do. Escape a little.